House of Y'all was popping it today about to react to this vid by Honest. It's titled Ice Spice Made a Mistake. So someone sent me this, asked me to react to it, said they want to hear my thoughts. So sure. Uh, but after this, we, we're going to chill on Icy Spicy for a bit because she needs to make room for the girls, the new girls, all right, who are dropping. So my focus is going to be on them and what, what their music is sounding like. So uh, sure, we'll see what, what mistake she has made, though. I don't know if she's gotten to it with someone or what, but... Yeah, let, let, let's hear what Honest has to say. Let's watch. Ice Spice made a mistake. Now I want to preface this by saying that hip hop is a very braggadocious genre. And really pop music today is a very braggadocious genre in general due to the influence of hip hop. So naturally, Ice Spice has every right to brag about her success and visibility. I think where it backfired on her is that she didn't just brag on herself. She went on record calling other people flops, which mm -hmm. many assume to be about Lotto claiming that she was also taking other girls' spots, which many people have speculated is about Cardi B, given that she also takes a dig at the person she's talking about changing their face. And Cardi, to say the least, has not been shy about her plastic surgery. But the fact of the matter is, Cardi's biggest misses equate to some of Ice's biggest wins. That part. Ice's this is what I said, too. I said her and JT were delusional, calling anybody a flop. Y'all are just, like, coming up. Pretty much. JT, of course, she was in the City Girls, but solo, she's just coming up. And y'all are not touching Cardi's numbers at all. So it just didn't make no sense. Album sales hit the net. And she debuted at number 18 with 28,000 copies sold first week. Lying. I know. This is, this is what I'm talking about. This is where the delusion lies, all right? And even JT, what did her album sell the first week? Let's talk about it because... Here's the thing. I don't personally give a fuck about nobody's album sales. Like, I ain't making money from it. I don't care what these girls sell. I'm about music and what sounds good. But if you're going to fix your mouth and be like, oh, you a flop. Ha, ha, ha. Now, okay, okay. Well, since you talking that shit, let, let's look at what you selling. What you sold? Girl, shut the hell up. Y'all sound so ridiculous. This is why this person want me to wreck. <laughs> you want to piss me off. What did JT sell first? JT sold 27K first week. Even less than Icy Spicy. So y'all twinning and, and y'all flopness. <laughs> but y'all want to talk about how Cardi's flopping, literally using the word flop in their diss and trying to take shots at Cardi. Cardi would never send a 28K first week. Are you are you dumb? So it, it doesn't make sense. That's like an obese person calling somebody else fat. It just don't make no sense. <laughs> the math ain't math. It's like, wait, what? And, and no, make, make it even worse. Let me give a better analogy. That's an obese person calling a skinny person fat. That's That's what this is. So it's like... You <laughs> or being like, mm, I see you gaining weight because because people, you know, give the uh, give the claim that, oh, Cardi isn't doing as well as she was years ago, that she was doing so great. And her popularity has died off a bit. Either way, she's still killing off Ice Spice and JT put together. So what are we talking about? So, again, that would be the obese person <laughs> telling the, the skinny girl mm, look like you, you gaining a little weight. What's going on over there? Mm hmm. It's like, girl, shut the fuck up. You obese. What are you talking about? So that's what killed me about her and JT. And I, I made those comments when I reacted to both of their projects on my Patreon. I said that. Like, how are y'all even making these slick comments about Cardi? Y'all sound stupid. And now the numbers have released and this is what y'all sold. But Cardi's the flop. Make it make sense. Y'all not y'all not living on planet Earth. I don't know what planet y'all own. Y'all y'all ain't, ain't making sense. Leaps and bounds lower than her name recognition, cosigns, and brandings. I personally don't goofy. think any new artist should be so ballsy that they attack other artists' commercial success that part. when they don't have the credentials themselves. Like, Ice Spice claiming to take someone's spot is just ridiculous. And calling people flops before your debut album is even released, before you've even proven yourself, is Nothing. insane. Ice Spice doesn't have one song that's culturally relevant as Bodak Yellow or WAP. Period. And personally, I don't see their numbers. Numbers don't define the quality of the music. But the fact that the album isn't even good makes it worse. And while I don't think numbers are the end-all be-all, they do hold some type oh. of weight when it comes to a popular artist's career. And especially- I don't care about numbers either, but again, we're only talking about it because y'all brought it up. Y'all talking about flop. So if you're talking about flop, you clearly talking about numbers and, uh, and, and being successful. So, okay, let's talk about it. To someone like Ice- we, we didn't even have to bring it into the conversation. Spice, who centered numbers so early on into her career, and once again called other people flops. Mind you, this lady had the alignment of the two most powerful fan bases in the world. 
Swifties and Barbs. Barbs. Well, I think the Swift collab was purely a collab in name, meaning I don't think it actually aided her garden new plans because one, it wasn't a good collab, and two, was likely put together for damage control after the Maddie Healy comments, but what it did do was help expose her to a new audience and aid to her rise, but I don't think it necessarily helped her establish a fan base. Definitely. The alignment that I really think helped her gain new fans was of course her alignment with Nicki Minaj. Nicki embraced Ice almost instantaneously and did multiple collaborations with her. Nicki she is an unprecedented up. veteran in the space that Ice is trying to occupy. So naturally I believe more interest would be gained in Ice by, by Nicki's fan base than someone like Taylor Swift, mm -hmm. who just doesn't artistically gel well with Ice Spice. And ultimately, I think Nikki did a good job in making Ice's subpar work far more interesting. But there is a big elephant in the room. Ice and Nikki have tension, and this came after Ice's former friend that goes by the name Baby Storm exposed messages of Ice talking unfavorably about Nikki the bar after sale. frustrations of contract negotiations. Her, I truly believe that her album sales would have been higher if she did not turn on Nikki and if this didn't get exposed. That ultimately fell through. And it then didn't... also she she aligned herself with Cardi as well. Um, so the Barb's also didn't like that. Like they just feel like, oh you fake. So I feel like this has definitely played a role in, in her low album sales. It was a shock to many people because Ice Spice appeared to be a massive Nikki fan. And Nikki had a heavy hand in helping Ice's meteoric rise to fame. Many people even speculated that the messages were fake until Ice Spice confirmed they were role in her Rolling Stone interview, saying, I think the saddest part of the whole situation is somebody I knew for so many years and called my friend, had me open up and be vulnerable with them, and then took complete advantage of that for her own benefit. So that was the saddest part, really, just feeling used, basically. As for Nikki, she says, she deny, she's deny, busy deny. as hell. I don't really think she cares I about I would have tweeted like, uh, that shit fake, fake news. <laughs> she, she created those screenshots. I ain't never said that about the queen. Like, girl, like that you better. Random girl. But what I said in those texts was just a moment of frustration around contract negotiations. I could have chose different words, but at the end of the day, regardless of how I- Wait, she's, I suppose says Nick Minaj has a comment on the league message, which I aired frustration about the rapper. She's busy as hell. I don't think she cares about shit like that coming from a random girl. Oh, she care, bitch. She, she done with you. <laughs> she done blocked you and probably unfollowed you always. You're done. You're done. She cares. Trust me, she cares. Okay. Uh, but what I said in those texts. Oh, he read Oh, in that moment. Oh, no. He down here. But what I said in those texts was just in that moment of frustration around contract negotiations. Nah, you said what you said. You tried for me. Nikki. Talking about she should be grateful. Yeah, you you been delusional. I should have known. <laughs> I should have known you was delusional from those text messages saying that she was doing Nikki a favor. I'm like, and I talked about that back then. Like, girl, you sound dumb. Nikki is still somebody I respect as an artist. Nikki saw what two hundred and some thousand first week, but you you was doing her a favor. Twenty eight k. Make it make sense. I'm always going to admire everything she's done for me. These girls the have. Future. Obviously, you no don't want to have sense. one of the biggest fan bases in the world going after you or be caught in tension with a music icon while you're in the process of releasing your debut record. I do commend Ice for owning up to it, though. It's obviously something she shared in confidence with her friend, and it's really fucked up no, that the friend doesn't. exposed the messages, but ultimately that. it creates a real stain either way, especially on her and Nikki's showmanship together. The messages could have also turned off a lot of Nikki loyalists from wanting to support Absolutely. her. And while it is a less than favorable position to be in, I don't believe it's the major reason Ice Spice didn't meet some of the expectations people so. thought she would. Although it was definitely a contribution to the veil being pulled back. I think Ice Spice would have always ended up in this position because she hasn't done the groundwork and hasn't really focused on developing her music. Her and her team have made her more of a name than an artist. Maybe out of necessity, because I'm not sure Ice has the range to be a good artist. I think that's where the biggest fault lies. It's kind of like a similar situation to Sweetie, where the music becomes an afterthought. But I think given people like Nicki Minaj and Taylor Swift backing Ice Spice, the precedent for her to do better music was there. She just didn't take advantage of it. Bye, I see. And here's the thing. I actually like Ice Spice's album, so I have a very different opinion than most people. Most people don't like it at all. Uh, I feel like some are dragging it, though. 
Like, I get everybody has different opinions on music, but some people are trying to make it seem like, oh, this is the worst thing I've heard in my life. Like, are right, you doing the most now? <laughs> it is not as bad as some of y'all trying to make it out to be. I think people just don't fuck with her anymore, so that's why they're turning on her. My only issue with her is she's just delusional and it's irritating me. But <laughs> people, I feel like, don't fuck with her because of her recent antics. When Ice Spice first came out, although her music wasn't great, it, it was a vibe a little bit, I guess. It was something different, something new. And on top of that, what did people keep saying about her? Ice Spice minds her business. She's unproblematic. She out the way. She just make her little basic music and she goes. That has not been the case recently. She has gotten to it with Lotto. She has taken shots at Cardi. She has talked shit about Nicki and that's been exposed. She did this fake shit with Central C. That irritated some people. It's like, oh, you purposely doing this fake PR shit because you're trying to promote your album. So she's done a lot of, of nonsense recently and people can no longer say, oh, she mind her business. She's, she's unproblematic. You can't say that anymore. So now people are just like, all right, you want some bullshit? We don't actually like you as a person anymore. So what's your music sounding like? Uh, actually, yeah, it is trash, so we don't you. <laughs> you know, like, uh, you, you're not even that good of an artist. Like, so if we're not going to like you as a person, we need to like your music. But we don't like you as a person and your music ain't that great? Fuck out of here. So I think that is a lot of people's sentiment about Ice Spice lately. So I feel like that's why people are starting to turn on her. Uh, but yeah, we'll, we'll see what happens from here. But, but yeah, that, that album is out of here, all right? We got new music. <laughs> New music on the way. Uh, Patreon, get ready. Anyway, y'all let me know what y'all think, though. Let me know what other videos you want to watch, and I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye!